Hello, this is Hamid. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to set the HA in 40 gate devices. As you can see, that in this diagram, uh, we have uh, two 40 gates and they're connected together through the port 3 and port 4. We set the DHCP server in port 1, and now we have a two Kali Linux here that they're getting IP address from the FG master or FG slave. So uh, to see the configuration in FG master, I can connect to network interfaces to see the network interfaces in port one. So I've already set the port one as one one and I have access HTTP HTTPS to reach the firewall graphic user interface and here for the port uh, one um, I have already set the DHCP server from 110 and 120 that's why we are getting IP address in this machine and for the port 5 because I want to connect port 5 after setting HA so I've already set the 10 1 and in port 5 have the HTTP server I guess again uh, yeah the HTTP server from 1010 .10 and until 1020 .10 and the, the network mask is 24 so I mirrored the configuration exactly the same configuration in the slave 48 firewall and now what I'm gonna do I go to system and then HA to set the HA for the firewall uh, between the master and the slave so uh, change the mode to active passive because uh, we're gonna set the this this firewall as a master and this firewall as a slave and if uh, this one fail the slave uh, can handle the traffic uh, device priority here is the um, the highest priority is the master one and the lowest priority is your slave so you can set uh, as a default this one 128 and the lower number uh, lower than 128 for your slave device I set the group name the group name should be the same between the master and the slave and mm, the password uh, again it should be the same between the master and the slave so here you should set the monitor interface and the heartbeat interfaces in the 48 so i have two interfaces port 3 and port 4 if you look at the our scenario i can set the port 3 as uh, my monitor interface so let me see that port 3 and heartbeat interface is going to be my port 4 um, sometimes we can set the uh, heartbeat interface uh, with two interfaces uh, I can add more interfaces for heartbeat interface if the port 4 fails you have a redundant interface so now OK this configuration and we go to slave device. So in a slave device, uh, let me go to the firewall. The same configuration is set here. Um, just I go to system HA and set the HA for this firewall. Just remember that this firewall is your slave firewall and you should set the priority lower than 128. So I set 50 for this firewall. Group name should be the same and I changed the password here same as the uh, master firewall 
and port 3 as in my monitor interface and port 4 as heartbeat interface and then as in the configuration now if I go to my master firewall and refresh here I should see the master and the slave firewall yeah so I can see the master and the slave firewall and so this one is now active this one is disabled in a case that master failed the slave is uh, handling the traffic uh, something that you can check here in the system and a login report you can see the HA events here and you see that now uh, cluster member is joined so we have some logs here uh, the slave firewall is not reachable because now everything is connected to master uh, what I'm gonna now do because I've already set the port 5 as a DHCP I connect the port 5 to my uh, switch here and I set the DHCP in the range of uh, 10 so for this one and I set the port 5 from the slave to my uh, switch 1 so we have a redundance interface if in a case 48 master fail from this PC we could reach to a slave and the same scenario for the uh, slave part so now I should get the IP address from uh, let me check my interface IP address because I changed the configuration now I should get the interface IP address and it's in the range of 10 so what I'm gonna do now I shut down the master firewall let's see if I can reach the interface or not now the firewall master is shut down I go to Kali Linux 1 and in Kali Linux 1 let's see I can reach the firewall or not actually I have to change my to check that my firewall my uh, interface IP address is right or not so I get the IP address let me check that is in the range of 10 so because the uh, interface 5 gives me the IP address in the range of 10 so now if I reach to the firewall in 10 1 I guess yeah I can reach to the firewall now the slave is active and what about let me see here from the slave or maybe here again uh, my interface has changed so and let me check that what's the IP address oh it's in the range of one so here I have one interface one one network so I can reach the one I can reach the firewall let me go to HA and system and HA so as you can see now the slave firewall is active so that's a really good uh, scenario when you have the redundant connection in a port 5 because my redundant connection is now port 5 I'm getting 10 IP address in the range of 10 here 
and here because port 1 is active I'm getting the IP address in the range of 1 and if I start the master firewall again I have the same configuration as the previous time I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching